Hello and welcome to this AIM quick tip on how to export and import math channels into the Race Studio Analysis software. So what we have in front of us right now is a view where I'm taking GPS data and I've added in some math channels to be able to get a different view. And here you can see I've got things like when the throttle's on, when the brake's on, and things like brake aggressiveness or brake speed. If you're interested in how I set this up, I'll link to a tutorial in the top right hand side of the, of the screen so you can see how to set this particular view up. But what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how do we import and export math channels. So we're going to click up here in the math channel section and we're going to have this page that's going to open up. And it's going to show, and I like using the general tab to do most of the demonstration. Now, before we go anywhere with the math uh, channel section, the general tab is where you should do all of your work because then these math channels will stay always with you in your instance of Race Studio Analysis. If they're in the channel and you close the actual um, session, I should say, down, like here, those math channels will follow with that session. Whereas if you do them in general, you can import them and export them into any of the sessions that you have open. So a useful thing to be able to know. So right here, you can see all of the ones that I've set up over time through going to webinars and talking to uh, people who know more than I do about setting up these math channels. And so I've got a nice set here. So the first thing I can do is I can click here, I can select them all, and I can click on export set. And what I'm going to call them is James underscore math channels. I can save them anywhere. I'm just saving them on my desktop and click on save. Now that's saved my collection of math channels, um, which is very useful for a number of reasons. The first is that always want to be able to have a backup because these often take a time to write, to set up, to configure. Um, so it's always nice to have a backup of these. The second is if you want to be able to share these across different computers, because some people may use more than one computer to be able to analyze their data. The third reason is that you may want to be able to share them with other people and be able to send out and say, here are the math channels that I've created. Please use them. They're available for you to be able to work out a different view that you may not have from your own particular view or setup of the race studio analysis. So a great way of being able to sort of share data as well. To show that I've actually created these, I'm actually going to click on delete and get rid of them all of them here. And I'm also going to click on the actual session that I have open and I'm going to delete them all here as well. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate that if I get rid of all of those channels that are there and click on OK, this view that I have changes and it changes because those channels that I had have now disappeared. And because that user profile is looking for that particular set of channels to be able to create that view that don't exist, it's only showing what it knows it can see. And right now that's just happened to be GPS speed. So we want to bring those back. So we're just going to click up here into the math channel section. And we're going to click on general because remember, always working in the general tab keeps them with you. And the other thing I always like to have on all of the sessions that I have is automatically insert into files and overwrite channels with the same name. This means that every time I open a session, all the math channels will automatically populate into that session. And then the second thing is, is overwriting the channels means that you always ensure that the same integrity exists of exactly the same math channel in all of those particular files that you have open to be able to do that analysis. So I'm going to click on import set. I'm going to find that one that I called James Math Channels, which I've got here. I'm going to click on open and then all of my channels have reappeared and here they are. But if I click on OK, this doesn't change yet because those math channels are only held within the general tab. We actually want to get them back into this session uh, because we deleted them. So we go back into the math channel section here. We go into the general tab. We select them all. We click on add. It goes into this nice little waiting room area here. We open up the session itself and click on paste. And then if I click on OK, now one of those sessions should reappear because the user profile, as it has done there, is looking for these channels to be able to demonstrate that the GPS advanced setup that I have is using channels like throttle on, brake on, brake speed. This is how you work through many of these particular variables. Um, also useful to note that I'm mentioning user profiles as part of this discussion. I'll also link in the top right hand side um, a link to the user profile set up to be able to make sure that if somebody shares with you math channels and user profiles that you can import and manage them both at the same time because we're seeing it happen more and more with tutorial series or webinars that are happening that people are just sharing a lot more of their views and their setups and it's really important to be able to know how to import them. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more please comment in the box below. Um, if you could subscribe that would be lovely and uh, thanks so much for watching.